Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching. Before we get started today, I want to talk to you guys for a second, and I'm sure that most of you have noticed that I've been doing less ballistic shell tests lately, and that is because of the weather. So for those of you that don't know, to use ballistic shell, you have to melt the gel blocks down and remold them um, every time you use them. So it's kind of a long process, and it smells really bad. So I melt my gel blocks down outside of my house. Well, the other day I tried to melt one down, and it was way too cold, and the ballistic shell uh, did not melt right. So I know that's why a lot of you guys are here for the ballistic shell test, and I like doing them, so I'll always do those for you guys, but at least for the next couple months, uh, they might be a little less frequent, just because it is uh, too cold for me to melt these down outside, and there's just no way that I can do it inside. So bear with me. I will do them as often as I can, and when I get a warm day, I will melt some of these down so that we have them, and when it warms back up, we will uh, be back to normal with the ballistic shell test. So with that out of the way, let's start today's video. So today, we are going to be shooting body armor and had a few of you guys ask to see this a few weeks ago and I actually had a viewer uh, tell me a website where I could get old uh, Kevlar panels and this is what I got so this is actually uh, technically expired and when I got it it had a big orange sticker on it that said do not use for a ballistics vest but it looks like it's in pretty good shape and I know um, that this material does have a shelf life, so I assume that this one is past that, but like I said, it doesn't look like it's uh, damaged or uh, too worn out, so hopefully we will uh, get this thing to stop some bullets. Now, I assume that this is level 3A body armor. It didn't say that on the package, but it did say that it is not rated to stop rifle fire, so I assume that's what it is, and 3A armor is rated to stop everything up to a 44 Magnum, so I have a bunch of different guns out here, and we're gonna shoot this thing and see what it stops. So let's get started. All right, so I draped the vest over my steel torso target and behind the armor I have a packet of computer paper to kind of give it a softer backstop so that these bullets aren't uh, bouncing off that hard steel when they hit that vest. All right, we're gonna start with the 22 long rifle out of the Ruger 1022. All right, the 22 hit right there, tiny little hole, and I can feel that bullet inside the vest, so I definitely didn't make it through. I will try and dig these bullets out when I'm done, but 22 did not go through. And next we're going to shoot the 380 out of the Sig Sauer P290. All right, our 380 hit right there, right next to the 22, and definitely didn't make it through. That vest is kind of swollen on the back a little bit, but the bullet itself is right down here. So it looks like it hit the vest, stopped, didn't really go into it, just fell down uh, inside that material in there, and definitely did not go through. All right, next we're shooting the 9mm full metal jacket out of my Glock 17. All right, our 9mm went in right there and definitely bulged the vest out quite a bit in the back. Now, I don't think it went through you can see there that it did uh, damage that paper a little bit and like I said I don't think it went through I think that's just from the impact of the vest on that paper when the bullet hit yeah I can feel the bullet right there so our nine millimeter did not make it through but definitely uh, hit that pack of paper pretty hard all right now we're moving up to the 45 ACP out of the 1911 and I think this will do less damage than the nine millimeter did because from what I've heard uh, speed is what defeats body armor and this is actually going uh, quite a bit slower than that nine millimeter. Let's see. And our 45 hit right there on the very top. I actually almost uh, missed the paper on this one, but you can see there it put a pretty big hole in that pack of paper and 
I don't think it went through. Again, it's just uh, these bullets are hitting this vest so hard that it's doing all that damage to the paper. And I can feel the bullet right here a couple inches below where it hit, so it didn't go through. But again, so that is why people say that it would still suck to get shot with body armor on. Even though it's not going to go through and kill you, it will probably break bones uh, just from the impact of that bullet. All right, now we're moving up to the 44 Magnum out of the Desert Eagle. And this is a Hornady uh, lever evolution round. And for some reason, it doesn't want to feed in this gun. I'm not sure if it's because they're made for lever guns or something. I'm not sure if uh, that's why they're called lever evolution. But you can see that every time I go to rack around in, they get hung up. So Desert Eagles aren't the most reliable guns anyway. Let's see how it does. All right, our 44 Magnum hit right there on the side and it definitely went through. You can see the fabric here and all that paper threw some on the ground, but I don't think that's fair because uh, that hit really far over to this side and I'm not sure that it didn't miss that uh, Kevlar that's in the front of this vest. So I'm gonna try the 44 Magnum again and see if we can get it more towards the middle. All right, our second 44 Magnum hit right there, which is just to the left of the first one that we shot. And I was aiming straight for the middle at the bottom. So I think these sights uh, might be shooting high and right, but I can't tell if this one went through. It definitely threw some more paper around, but it was already ripped open. So it's kind of hard to tell. I'm gonna take this vest apart and see if I can't find that 44 Magnum. And here is the second 44 Magnum that we shot. So it did not go all the way through. That's pretty cool. That first one must have just went through because it was too far off to the side and didn't actually hit uh, that Kevlar. But as you can see, the second 44 Magnum that actually hit the vest uh, did not go all the way through. All right, now I'm gonna test one more nine millimeter round. This is the Underwood Extreme Penetrator. And I tested this round a couple weeks ago and had a few of you guys say, uh, that you heard this could defeat level 3A body armor. So let's see if it does. All right, our extreme penetrator hit right there. And looks like it definitely swole that vest up quite a bit. And it's hard to tell if it made it through. It definitely damaged that paper behind it. So let me take this vest off and see if it went through. And there's our extreme penetrator. So it did go through and it went through probably a quarter of this package of paper as well. So it's kind of crazy. All right, after digging around for quite a while, I was able to pull out all these bullets. The first one here is the 22, and you can see that it's just kind of smashed. The second one is our 380, also flattened out a little bit. The third one is the nine millimeter, and the fourth one is the 45 ACP, and that is the 44 Magnum. Now, all five of these, it stopped. The 44 Magnum, I wasn't sure, but I dug around in there a little bit more and it did stop that bullet. The only one that made it through was the nine millimeter extreme penetrator and went pretty deep into our packet of paper. So that's kind of cool that the 44 Magnum did not go through, but the nine millimeter extreme penetrator did make it all the way through. I didn't really expect the extreme penetrator to go through it like that. I've heard both. I've heard people say that it does go through and I've heard people say that uh, 3A body armor will stop the extreme penetrator. So I wasn't really sure. And like I said, this is an older vest, so this might not even be the like latest technology that they're using in bulletproof vests. I doubt that it is actually, uh, but this was worn by a police officer back in the day, and it did stop everything from a 22 up to a 44 Magnum, which is what it's supposed to do. But the extreme penetrator went right through it, so kind of interesting. Um, I do have another 
uh, vest just like this or the other side to this vest I should say and I think I have something planned for it in the future I was gonna shoot this with some rifles but we already know they're gonna go straight through I mean that nine millimeter extreme penetrator went through and the 44 Magnum um, I mean it took everything that vest had to stop that bullet it was it was really close to going through so rifles are gonna go straight through it it's not really a secret but I do have something planned for the other side of this vest that I will be uh, releasing soon but I'm gonna wrap it up here guys if you like this video please hit that like button for me I really appreciate it thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time